good morning at this time it is still good morning from united states of america and i just want you to know that i am a Ghanaian, but i live here and i want to you also to know that it is not easy for you to be divorced from a narcissist so do me a favor so that when you are choosing the fathers of your children or even the mothers of your children you go extra mile to do a better assessment don't be with them and think oh they are nice to me they bought me indomie they gave me a little core credit that is enough reason to start getting pregnant for them if you would do yourself any favor in this 2023 the biggest favor i encourage you to do yourself is not who you get married to is who you have children with let me repeat that the biggest favor i want you to do yourself this 2023 i'm sorry guys we're still in 2023 in my brain but no we in 2024 the biggest favor i need you to do to yourself in this 2024 is be very very selective as to who you lay with and end up being pregnant with them because you know what at any time you lay down with anybody ask yourself that could result in childbirth in a pregnancy are you ready to share a child with that person do you know the person enough do you know their desires about wanting to have a child or not? Do you know what they will wish their children become? Do you wish, do you know what they will wish for the kind of life they will give their kids? Do you know what they would desire, where they would desire to stay, like the living environment, the kind of community they want to be? Ask yourself. Do I know this person enough? Do I know their family enough? It's few people that comes up in life and want to change the family they came from narrative. It's not everybody that had a father that wasn't present that want to become a better father for the kids that they bring to this world. Not all the time. Sometimes, the product they are the product of where they came from if they had they came from an absentee father they want to pay back with being mean not being present research has suggested that if a child is raised in a in, in an abusive environment most likely most likely they will become that environment that brought, that groomed them and nurtured them into this life and existence so it's not everybody that is from an absentee home, father's home, that want to change that story, that worked hard to say that, you know what, I knew the, and experienced the impact of not having my father there. I understood the pain my mother went through to give me the life I have today. And so they want to change that. They want to put in that effort. They want to make it a personal agenda, a personal interest to change that, to become a better person for the children that they bring to the world. So I'm encouraging you that this year, your choices, your decisions should be something that have a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset. Something that will be, um, it will bring you growth. It will change your life. It will not make you settle for the th same things you knew that were, that did not bring you profit did not benefit your life did not help your life did not bring you comfort in life i want you to put in effort it's not easy it's my the mindset do you know that in the united states sometimes men uh, women make more money than the men so why are you settling for that that's because the f of the food they gave you today, because of the clothes they gave you today. So you have to have children with them. 
without thinking out of the box. If that child comes, is the food they gave you, would it be enough? Is that food going to be enough to feed you and a child? Is that food going to buy a diaper? Is that food going to spend time with the child at the hospital when they are sick? Is that food that they gave you that made you want to lay with them without even protection, without thinking? Oh, she's nice to me, so let me pin him down with the pregnancy. My dear, the person you have a child with is so, so important than the person you stand on the altar with and change vows with. I know it sounds like ridiculous that I'm saying, how would you have a child with a person that is not mm -hmm. your husband? You are married and then you go and have a child with somebody that is out there that is not your husband. But think about it. If you think about it that way, it will help you to choose a life partner also, you know, that will fit your future focus, the kind of life you want to live, the kind of life you want for your kids, the kind of life you want your kids to have. You understand? You cannot be a person that wants to live in Accra and want to be fixated on a person that wants to live in Yantoko. It doesn't work that way. You cannot want to be with a person that don't want to advance. This does not come with career. A person can be a mason and you can be a, a, a doctor, a professor, and it will still work because he's a mason that is industrious. That want to establish a, a, a block lane firm, whereby she will be a he will be a contractor, even learn some skills that he will employ this uh, carpenter, mason, steel bender, and when somebody hires them, they will go all the way out to provide this person that is hiring their services with all the labors under their care. So you see, it's not because you are a doctor a, a doctor by book. So they cannot be a doctor by their skill. Both of you can still work together. So far as there's ambition, there is respect, there is, you understand that he's hardworking, he brings the money in, and you are hardworking, you take care of the patients and bring the money in, and both of you put it together to build a future together. What are the ambitions? Is my ambition, you are, I am a doctor, so I cannot be with a mason and stuff. Maybe that mason will be a better doc, a better father for the kids. You never know. Maybe he's attentive to your need, attentive to your feelings, pays attention to you. If you are going, you have a, a, a scalp that has dust, he will know, oh, did you clean it? Look at this. I feel like you should get a damp cloth, cloth and clean this. Or you want another doctor that is barely there to pay attention to you, listen to you, be attentive. When you have a partner that is attentive to you, knows when you are happy, knows when you are not, it, it, it translates. When their kids are crying in the night, they don't look at it like it's a gender thing and a woman alone gets up and changes the diaper. So I'm encouraging you this year, 2024. There is too much divorces out there. I am a proud divorcee. I always say, if you're following me on Facebook and Instagram, uh, take, uh, what's the name? YouTube. I have a YouTube page also. EPA worldwide. So kindly go to YouTube and subscribe over there. But I will encourage you that this year, as a person that preach against divorce, even though I'm a divorcee, I preach against the things our parents didn't tell us before we ventured into having the, our first child, that you take that bold step to change the story so that your kids don't become victims of the same things you have been victims of. Whatever you've been through, it's not too late for you to change that. It's all the mindset and in your willpower that you can do it and you are going to take the necessary steps required to do it. This 2024, have children with the people that you know they are going to be good fathers for your kids. Don't rush into marriage. Rush into marry, having children with the best fathers. So if it's a father material, it's a marriage material. So are the women. I love you guys. Don't forget to follow this page. Follow me on t Facebook, Epa Worldwide. TikTok, here, Epa Worldwide. Instagram, Epa underscore Worldwide. And subscribe to my YouTube channel and share my videos. I love you so much. And ask me any questions that you want me to talk about, any topic you want me to talk about. I'm a psych nurse practitioner, and my name is Mamli Yuko Godwins. Mental health is my, my area.